Okay, tubers, putting the gasket on the uh, the door. I've removed the door from the lid. <clears throat> Basically, what you want to do is kind of make sure that this rope is um, good and clean. I spread this all the way across. This stuff is very tough to work with. It's very thick, and it starts to harden not hardened but dry pretty quick too you only want to put this from what I read on the part of the doors and, and of the seals that you want um, to remain um, remain there because this is what helps kind of seal it and make it stick and it won't um, it won't come off easy so when I put it underneath the uh, the ring for the five eighths or the seven eighths up underneath the ring, I'm going to put the um, the seal uh, in the lid on the lid, but not on the barrel because I may end up having to get in and out of that. And I hope you can see it because it is pretty bright out here today. You get it on there. Put the door back on. And bolt it down. This kit, both these kits came with um, extra screws, so if you booger up a, a screw, and I did, uh, trying to put the legs on, if you booger up a screw, you need to get rid of it because you don't want anything stripped out, Because if you, especially if you're going to move this thing around. You can crank these things down pretty tight, but I kind of recommend you going from one side to the other, across, and diagonal, 
make sure you can see this. Um, anyway, hopefully you can see that. But go a diagonal and across, tighten them that way so you don't put it in a bind. You want a really good seal. Seems like once you get them snug tight, you really don't even have to hold the other side. It's like uh, that's going to get it. Now, I want to put uh, some of this gasket cement in the track here. I've wire brushed it out best I could. I'm just going to fill this. That was stuff, that stuff's different. It's more clear. When you cut it, make sure you cut off no more than enough because it will kind of draw up on you a little bit. There you go. Now all I got to do is put it on. We're just about ready to fire this joker up. So um, let me put this on and be right back. Okay. I've uh, got it together. And you'll notice that uh, my door seems a bit crooked. But this is sitting on an incline there. We're uh, 
actually um, running downhill, so it's it's a bit deceptive. Anyway. Still got to get my uh, uh, clamps for uh, the connector and uh, the stove pipe. Two lighters, no good. This is maiden burn. And just so everyone knows, I'm gonna try and get some. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even think about it, but I need to put the gasket around here to seal that as well. Look up there. It's working. Let me get my phone. Bobby's already done it. It's only up to a hundred right now. I don't know if we can zoom into that or not. Let's see. Get it on there. Thank you, 
heat I'm feeling from the sun or from uh Yep. That wood smells good. Okay, I guess you can see now that uh, the smoke is mainly coming off of the uh, out of the chimney now. It's up to about 350 degrees on the top barrel. It's not as hot as I wanted to get it. Um, I was hoping to get at least 400 degrees out of that, and uh, or at least into that red on the gauge. But uh, it, it's it hadn't got there, and I didn't have enough wood really to do that either. So. I may have to invest in a little more wood and do another burn, but I want to burn all this stuff off and out of these drums because uh, it's there's a still significant um, amount of silicone on that on the outside of that top drum, uh, so I, I do want to get all that burned off before it goes in my greenhouse, uh, and um, you know I don't want any any of that. Uh, chemical burn off or the smoke from that uh, to get on get in you know all my plants so uh, that said uh, that's that's it for this video if this thing works um, whether or not it's um, uh, completely sealed I still have a couple things I told you I got to get a couple of um, um, what do you call those things those um, clamps to go around the uh, the collars where I've got the, uh, the that stove pipe between the two collars and on to the top and I've got to get some more stove pipe to get up uh, the greenhouse is about 15 feet tall um, so I'm gonna have to go up another probably another five feet before I go out um, I gotta get the elbow and uh, a couple more pieces at probably another 15 feet of pipe and um, something to go on the end of it so that water doesn't get down in it so anyway there you go the next video on this stove will be in my greenhouse so uh, that said that's a lot of work Bobby my hats off to you that's a monster and it's it's not easy but it's possible because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, maybe this video might help some of you. Uh, at least uh, keep you from making some mistakes that I made while I was making it. And Bobby helped keep me from making a whole bunch more. So uh, thank you again, Bobby. And uh, God bless. Y'all go play in some dirt. Uh, and you can do it year-round if you got this in a greenhouse. God bless.